they have come to only take what belongs to you. Brothers and sisters, there are people who have come in your life as friends. They have put on a mask of disguise. And before you accept them, test them, brothers and sisters. Test the spirit. Do not just accept people into your life and they end up destroying you. Brothers and sisters, the only reason as to why your enemy comes is to steal, kill, and destroy. That is what the scripture says. That the enemy only comes to kill, steal, and destroy. After he has stolen what belongs to you, he goes ahead and kills it. And after he has killed it, he destroys it so that there is no proof, so that there is no evidence. So my brothers and sisters, some of you are asking why things are missing in your life. You are missing something in your life. You feel like you'll be at a certain level, but you, you find yourself in a position that is intimidating, in a position that is not good. It is because your enemy has all along been stealing from you. And after he has stolen, he kills it and destroys it. So be very careful who you accept in your life. Because while you sleep, the enemy does not sleep. He keeps on doing his own activities. He keeps on carrying out diabolic plans towards your life. But good news is that Jesus has come that you may have life and you may have it abundantly. That is the good news. That Jesus wishes you good things about you. He wants you to prosper. He wants you to live and not die. He wants you to be a person who's fruitful. He wants you to multiply. He wants you to subdue the earth. He wants you to replenish. That is what God plans for you. That is in God's mindset. He wishes above all things that you prosper. This is a word of encouragement to somebody who feels that you have been losing a lot of things. Now, today's word is from the book of Matthew chapter 13, verse 24 to 30. I repeat, Matthew chapter 13 verse 24 to 30 and it reads another parable he put forth to them saying the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field but while men slept his enemy came and sowed terrors among the wheat and went his way but when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop then the terrors also appeared. So the servant of the owner came and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have terrors? He said to them, An enemy has done this. The servant said to him, Do you want us then to go and gather up and gather them up? But he said, No. Lest while you gather up the terrors, you also uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And at the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, First gather together the terrors and bind them in bundles to burn. To burn them, but gather the wheat into my burn. Glory to God. What an amazing scripture to start your morning with. What an amazing scripture to go to sleep with so that you may have the, this information in your mindset that the enemy may not steal what belongs to you. Now the, the scripture clearly starts by saying that another parable he put forth to them saying the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. I love Jesus that he was a man of parables. And this was yet another parable that he put forth to them. And it says that the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. The scripture does not say the kingdom of heaven is a man who sowed good seed in his field. The scripture says is like the kingdom of heaven is like. He likens it to a man who sowed good seed in his field. What happened? Scripture says, continue and says, But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed 
terrors among the wheat and went away. My God. Some of you can relate to this scripture. You have been sowing good seed. Seed of love. Seed of patience. Seed of fruitfulness. You have been sowing good seed. But at the end of the day, you don't understand what happens to your harvest. You don't understand the results. Because my brothers and sisters, I want to let you know that while you are asleep, the enemy has come in and sowed his good seed among your seed and he has left. This is what happened in the scripture. That while men slept, the enemy came and sowed terrors among the wheat and went his way. Terrors are like weeds. Weeds. Not weed, but weeds. Weeds look like the real thing. When you look at reeds, they look like the real crop. In other words, they try to compete with, for nutrients, sunlight, with the crop. It is a plant that you never planted in your field. For those that have done gardening, for those that, that are good in, uh, in the fields, you know what I'm talking about. For those that have been acquainted to crops, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That there are certain crops that you have never planted. Of course, the crops sometimes they may look as though they are good, but you have never planted them. But all of a sudden, you find them in the presence of the crops that you planted. For example, if you want to plant beans, you find crops that you have never planted in your life. The enemy has done this. There are people whom you have never invited in your life. But all of a sudden, you find them in your life. There are situations where you do not know exactly where they came from. The enemy has done this. So my brothers and sisters, watch and pray at all times so that you are never caught unaware. Let us read and see what, what, the, what the scripture says. The scripture says, But when the grain had sprouted and produced crop, then the terrors appeared. That is it. They only appear when you have produced something that is good. When you are about to get a breakthrough, you find something that has put you on hold. The enemy has done this. All along it had been growing without you knowing it. All along the enemy had been around without you knowing it. But when you are about to get a breakthrough, he appears. May God deliver you from this kind of enemies. Now the scripture says, then, uh, So the servants of the owner came and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then? Does it have terrors? He said to them, An enemy has done this. Brothers and sisters, that is my message. That an enemy has done this. Notice that the servants were able to identify that these crops were not sowed by the master. They were able to identify that this kind of crop, this kind of wheat was never sown by the master. This plant was never put by the master. So when they came to the master, the master knew exactly what was in his field. The master said that an enemy has done this. An enemy has done this. Brothers and sisters, this is the message. That God knows exactly what the enemy is doing in your life. He knows exactly. But the good news is he has given you the power over your enemy. He has given you power, authority to trample over snakes and scorpions and nothing will hurt you. You have the power in you. Brothers and sisters, this is a word of encouragement that the enemy, no matter what the enemy has sown in your life, you are going to overcome because God is going to destroy what the enemy had put in your life. You are going to survive and not die. Until next time, brothers and sisters, this is the word of God. If you want to be a blessing to this ministry through your giving, you can do so through my PayPal account, which is in the link in the description. Also, remember to share this message with somebody else. Like this video, uh, leave your comments, and God will bless you. Until next time, Shalom.